Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I have a Priceline haul for you guys. Um, recently it was Priceline's 40% off skincare sale or skincare and tanning sale. They do this I think twice a year and I do like to stock up on quite a few things just so I don't really need to repurchase until the next sale. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see what I picked up at the sale then just keep watching. And also, just quickly before I start the haul, um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, definitely click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more hauls that I do. I do love buying a whole lot of stuff, and I do love sharing it with you guys as well. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But anyway, let's get into the haul. So this time around, I did want to try a few new things, so that's exactly what I did. Um, the way that I love trying out new products is through gift sets. So I was actually able to find four gift sets at my price line, um, not my local price line, but the one near my work. Um, I work in the Sydney CBD, so they obviously would have more like stuff, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, the first thing that I got was this Asano, I believe it's pronounced, Nourishing Necessities set. Now this has three full size items. I was initially just going to buy this night cream. Um, I think Vicky talks about this, I'm not really too sure, um, but she does talk about something from this brand. So I decided to pick this up and then I was walking around and I saw a gift set and it was only $10 more, like recommended retail, more than the face cream. So I was like, hold on, like that would probably only be like six bucks more for me to get this whole set and get two full size items. So I definitely picked that up. Let's open it actually. Can we open it? This is actually in quite a nice box. Like I would love to receive this as a gift. So you open it up and it says just their little slogan, I'm guessing. And then it has a little booklet. And then underneath all this tissue paper is the three products. So you get the night cream, which is what I initially wanted. It's called the Moisture Restorative, Restorative Night Cream. And this is a rosehip oil one. I love rosehip oil so much. Um, it also comes with the rosehip collagen repair serum which is really, really good because I'm out of my serum at the moment. And then it also comes with a rose hip visible lift eye cream. And I'm really, really excited for that as well because I was running low on eye cream as well. The next set that I got was from Sukin. Um, I bought, the reason why I wanted to buy this kit was for the facial cleanser. The facial cleanser full price is $10 and this set was $20. And then you have the 40% off that. Um, so I thought it was a really, really good bargain and then I got three for pretty much the price of two. or well, not even two really. So in this set, you do get the facial cleanser, which is what I wanted. My friend Jamie recommended this to me because she really likes it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Um, the hydrating mist toner, which I'm glad that I'm getting another one of. Um, the one that I have is running very, very low. And then it also comes with a facial moisturizer as well. So that's a really, really good deal. I think this came down to like $15 or like $12 or something, which is so good. I actually picked up this set from Palmer's Cocoa Butter last year um, around Christmas time at their sale then, or maybe it was the start of this year, I can't remember. But anyway, it does come with a facial scrub, a facial oil, and a purifying enzyme mask. Um, I decided to pick this up because I was actually running low on all of these, so I decided to just pick up this again. So the last set that I got was actually from Lanolin. I believe is the brand and it's just three hand creams so a lemon one and two rose ones I just wanted some hand creams that I could chuck in my bag so that's all of the gift sets the next things I did just get individually so I did get this Burt's Bees coconut foot cream with vitamin E I wanted to get this because it is getting into the summertime now and I do think that like moisturizing your soles and stuff really does help with the appearance of your feet and they don't look all crusty and dry um, so yeah I haven't tried this before but I'm looking forward to it and I also picked up the Neutrogena foot cream. Um, I did use this one and it's really, really nice. It's quite fast absorbing, but I don't feel like you get very much. Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure how long this will last me, but I do like it so far. A repurchase for me, and I seriously love this. I normally pick up one of these every Priceline sale. Um, this is the Hydroluron Moisture Jelly. I do prefer this over the serum, um, just because I like the dispensing method more. I'm not going to use it because I still have one on the go, but basically you just press down this button and the product just comes out. I really, really like this one. And especially for the summertime, it's just quite light and it's nothing too heavy um, because summer is seriously just around the corner. Well, not just around the corner. It's still like four months away, but whatever. Um, I also got this Swiss Bamboo Facial Exfoliating Scrub. I love scrubs more than just cleansers. I don't know why, but I really do. 
So I have high hopes for this one. Another scrub, this one's from Aveeno and it's a Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. I love Aveeno so I decided I wanted to give this a try and I especially love their Positively Radiant line. I got the Swiss Rosehip Oil Hand Cream. I have been using this quite a bit, I do quite like it. And I also did buy the Aveeno Hand Cream but that's at work on my desk. But I love that one too. One of the last products is the Swiss Argan Anti-Aging Eye Cream. You can tell I went a little bit crazy on the eye cream this time around. Actually, I did buy another eye cream from Palmer's. I don't know where that is at the moment because it's not in any of these bags, but I did buy an illuminating eye cream from Palmer's Cocoa Butter brand. I've been using it underneath my eyes, but I feel like the illuminating things were just a bit too intense. I don't know. I'll show you guys in another video. And then... I did pick up two masks. These are both from Sukin. The first one that I got is the anti-pollution facial mask and it's apparently oil balancing and it's got charcoal in it. Um, I do work in the Sydney CBD every single day and I do feel like I'm exposed to a lot of pollution so I thought this would be really, really nice. I don't even know if that's what it's supposed to do but in my mind that's how it works. Um, and then I also got the hydrating facial mask. Um, I have the Glam Glow one at the moment and I just wanted a cheaper alternative because the Glam Glow, Glam Glow one is like 60 or 70 bucks. This smells nice. And also I did just pick up another Jergens Age Defying Revitalizing Lotion. I do love this one out of all the ones in the Jergen line. I feel like this is the only one that I can use on my skin and my fake tan doesn't like crack off or go like all scaly and alligatory. So I always repurchase the age defying one. I think it's just more hydrating than any of the other ones. I've tried the shea butter, the soothing and aloe vera and another one, but this is my favorite. Okay guys, so that's all the products that I recently picked up from Priceline at the 40% off skincare sale. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely follow me on Snapchat and Instagram to stay up to date with me and just all the things that I get up to. Like when I go makeup shopping and when I buy new things and when I unbox things, definitely follow me on there. Um, on both of those, I'm just the happy Laura. Um, I will put it on the screen somewhere here for you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a very wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!